So, SI. It sucks, bro. Like a whole year of practice. Trying to, trying to reclaim what should have been yours. And it just gets cancelled. It got me, it got me in my feels, I'm not gonna lie. One player left his falls, finds one, but he won't know the last man. It's achieved the phantom Roma that we spoke about earlier in the round. The red pings are coming through. Should be able to get this one nice and easy. Yes, he will. MP now as he's holding on for the best of his ability, but Bolo is there to get a double of his own inside the kitchen from deep. There's just one more man lying down in the corner. They're well aware. And it's Merck who's going to be able to pull oh! together Bolo! From under to the top, luggage packed and sent home. Get out of here. This is a TSM round, and it's only one man trying to keep the cool vibes done, but no more of 4K. Pace to the push, but here's 20 seconds, and there's still bodies loose, and there's the diffuser down. Bolo inside for the double, finds himself another one, and here it is only 10 seconds, but none of it is going to be spent alive by Bosco as TSM pull us back level. X Kairos, that's odd that it's clipping through. Anyway, don't want to get too bogged down with that because it's only 10 seconds left, so here comes the punishment. Can the Giants capitalize off of it? Well, for now, they have a numbers advantage, but it swings right back because guess who hasn't been moved from his spot? Surprisingly, Parabellum has been mighty close, but look at this, achieved very close to being able to get into the site. They are punishing OXG. <laughs> Foxe is dead, Yaga is dead, a nade thrown out from Achieve. Geo gets one, Bolo gets three, and that's it. The round is over. Just before it can even begin. Especially this wallbang game, he'll go down pretty quickly. 10 seconds left though, has to make something happen. Just pushes on to site. Geo holding in kitchen. Sona's gonna go for the plant, but Geo will swing out surely and just deny this one with the nitro cell. Easy as that. Slam dunk, TSM on the board, 1-1. One, one. Paid off, maybe they've been a bit too patient with their approach towards the site. They had the downstairs clear and finally achieved his gone, but gets traded out by Merc, who is still playing in bathroom. One of the reasons why they first pushed downstairs. Another one from Bolo onto Julio. Kamikaze, after his holding on spiral, all game long is going to try and make some magic oh, no, happen no. but he's in a one versus one there's no way here he should have the time to make this happen but where is the final man he's doing here it Des. Bolo. he's, he's got doing it. he'll have enough time for this one can he hold out can he come up and oh! go for the no he can't Bolo Valenti is so underrated in the impact it has on a Bolo special that's going to go into a YouTube compilation somewhere I'm sure Psycho in the dirt another push in achieve finds a second they've absolutely exposed them here two going down Charla gets dropped but there's a trade back the other way once again. It's not looking too dire just yet. But TSM have got the advantage with a nice early push in. What a great Merc, don't miss them ones. Geo's going in for a plan. It's Muzi and Kamikaze to hold on. This should be it. It should be the 7-2. and two. There's a man on the ground. He's out of moving. But can they hold on? Muzi's moving and grooving through. Garage finds Merc. Two versus three ace. They've got about 25 seconds to make it all happen. This should be it now. TSM cannot let this slide. It was always necessary for TSM to come in and close this out quickly as I said the longer it ticked by the more it went on the more difficult it would become achieved just trying to use a bullet hole there to get that final kill but he cannot manage it two versus three one versus three Bolo Gio take a bow you well now they're aware of where Charla is but Bolo's going round these big grandiose steps on the backside. if he goes uncontested we can see that a lot of the dedication has come from underneath there it is and there's a diffuser the perfect reward there is one coming up and screaming around blue stairs. That's going to be who Bolo finds himself in a fight with next. Let's himself on the close corner, drops it and TSM put themselves 5-2 up and put themselves so much closer to taking revenge for losing their map much time left and there's two or three different pushes going down at the same time that's the big problem they're trying to work out where they want to make themselves a point of ingress but they're entirely different situations they finally found themselves coalescing but charla cuts the first down he swings into the site there's the response that tsm needed two people that can just watch themselves as the final swing comes around the back side has to stick it doesn't can't and tsm take themselves the map they are smoking, they are moving. There's a man hopped up on the bomb. He quite get, he does. It's gonna say he can't quite get it, but look at this. That is TSM responding yet again to another rush. Could be an angle that is throwable from the skylight if they decide to go for it. But Cyber here in a very good spot, able to pick up one. Gets two! Cyber, huge plays! Might keep them into the game right here if it isn't for Bolo that picks up the kill to Souls. But the C4 from Cameraman finds Bolo. Get called from as Merc dances the danger angle all the way deep past 
that heavy machinery in the middle of the room. They're well aware, and Astro is the one that does the double. It's down to Polo, but no! And you look at this, as the C4 is prepped and ready for a Chief to swing up to this default, they're in a really tricky situation right now. And Derek Combs will be blown up, but not on the right position. Bolo will be able to get the kill. Oh, double kill for him. And make that a triple. TSM able to get round number nine there on map point now for here on coastline. Maker's not really doing well. Well, it's coming really TSM that's not really doing well. It's Maker's. Oh, beautiful shot. Never mind. I didn't say anything. Whether you hop up on a table or not, we have the many methods of blowing somebody out of the room many times. Lolo is the first to dance dangerously and the first to suffer the fate. Lolo pops perfectly timed. Yeah, now some Xcaris will be used as the Mew Gemma has been taken care of. Oh, that's Bolo, really aggressive right here, picks up a kill. It's in Shaiko, and there he goes. Geo, digging deep and taking control of Elbow, taking control of Blue. Drops the ADS, and it's the swing. Oh, but Bolo, oh. down the core of Long, a triple fed to him by a team that did not expect it. Renshiro, he's got an important fight that he takes. Gives him a little bit of the back line, but... There is TSM taking control, sweeping aside the hold from before and setting themselves up one round away from taking BDS's map. He's making sure they can look down against Freezer and draw some BDS attention away, but Bolo is going to be potentially the first movement and momentum here. The swing comes through around the back of the pillar. Shaiko suffers scratches. He's able to survive 20 seconds, and the double starts the spread. That is all the pillar falling, and that is that flood of TSM bodies overwhelming the backside. They knew you were there, and now they know that it's just Renshiro left on the backside of Freezer. Bolo is taken care of. It's a three versus one, but the swing is Merc, and the map is TSM. Trying to pick something out, but look at the rotation underneath as well. They have two stories of this staircase locked off. They have some presence around Fireplace too, and now they've got the diffuser back up, so it's time to start putting the pedal to the metal. Merc with the spray and Bolo with the pickup. There it is. One more scratched onto the board as TSM close ever closer to another play, and one more for Merc. It's Rafal locked inside. It's a spray, but it's a TSM room. Inside of NA, but good coordination to start things out. Bolo swinging at the time that the push come in from the north side. TSM just ducking, diving, and dodging, keeping themselves alive inside a site vertical. He wants to make some pressure from that single door there, but he's going to come up against the toxic babe. The kills rain in. Geo and Bolo managed to do it. Bolo doubles down for a second, and that is going to be the round. TSM take round two. Getting yourself without allowing him to pop up and hit a headshot, which is exactly what we know that Bolo is capable of doing. And oh. It really seems like they were trying in that but Bolo he's having absolutely none of it finds the headshot onto vertical I'm not sure if his, his deployable shield is still in place as well for him to play behind and that's the danger I was talking about Des Fox here losing his life to Bolo oh, Bolo it falls apart he's got three from the same place and this is TSM coming in inside of Armory out comes one of the firebolts forces the man to move he's now hovering off to the left inside of Oil and I think Charla is aware it's a double kill Bolo drops in front of his face and takes out Yoga five versus two. They've got to do so much here. Vert finds one. Back a second oh. for Kino. That's a way to make yourself known. 12 seconds to play. The smoke comes out. The diffuser is on the ground. Kino still dug in, but can he hold out here? Hope? No, he cannot. TSM send oxygen home. And wait for this push to come now. Sexy Kick. He looks to move in. He's done well so far. What a pre-fire he finds on to achieve. But it doesn't matter. They're losing the war of attrition here, Des, as Palu is finished off. There comes the final kill from Bolo. He finished things as well as he started them. There's going to be an absolute bloodfest here in the final uh, 10 seconds or so. Sexy Kate watching the angle until the only moment that it mattered and that was when Achieve stepped up and got his kill. Bolo on a late flank manages to find a double with a headshot onto Palu. Charla shuts down Nesk and that's going to be another successful round for TSM. To the next round in which case maybe it's not for you. Should maybe switch off now and stop watching. Oh, oh Nesk just a fraction of a second away from catching Bolo there who will react extremely quickly to get that kill and take the mozzie off the board. Sexy Kate coming under pressure as well. <laughs> Intense pressure from Bolo and we've seen him do it before Des from this exact window. Evil IQ 
camera will be destroyed so that's going to just remove some information from Team Liquid 50 seconds left to go and TSM they feel like a coiled spring at the minute there's just ready to pounce forward onto the weakened Team Liquid feels like the right time as well now that they're down to three members and 40 seconds to play they're doing all the right moves can Liquid hold on and force it into overtime a couple of pixels out but Palu goes down that's not the way you wanted this to go Moringa finding one for himself it's a four versus two one comes back as well PSK he strikes if they can find one more they can even things out but no it's Merc PSK finds one can he get the next no he cannot he's got himself inside he's going to keep trying to play out of this office oh. breach but right now he's held in place Palu manages to find a kill onto Geo shut down as Bolo drops down to the lower level and finds a kill to trade it out Merc gets one as well on the Aruni that's Moringa down Nesk he starts fighting back by getting the trade 15 seconds left to go as the time is ticking by on the final defensive round for TSM here Nesk he's got some work to do he's moving into sight shut down by Bolo for the last few of his hit points three seconds left to go surely it's over it is just been a nice thing about this series it's been very composed compared to the high paced aggression brought out of NIP in there <gasps> Ooh, what good night didn't even see that one coming did he <laughs> sexy cake just having his head clean blown off by Bolo pushing him from the same spot took the challenge and didn't quite win it out and here we go oh Bam. As easy as they come, they line up, you see the pixels change colour, you press left mouse button, people die, it's that easy. Continues as Bolo comes off, worse for wear. Ness take a little bit as well and gets shut down. That surely is the moment in the round for TSM. Five versus three now, top floor control, almost theirs. I was just about to say, as there is just Palu to clear out, but you can never think of it as just Palu. He is just as capable of putting in an ace as Nesk is. He sees the drone, he knows he's going to be challenge he uses the oryx dash to get himself away oh, why'd you come back he repeats the door and gets shut down by bolo who was hot on his heels five versus two tsm des they're taking us all the way oh. this is going to overtime it's gotta go to overtime unless psk moringa can do something special bolo been pretty quiet for most of this map considering how well he played in the previous one but it was a multi-kill from him makes it a quad can he answer ness no he could not charla <laughs> takes it off him but it's still four kills for Bolo, TSM force us through to overtime. This is what we turned up to see Ace. Dexy Kate back on his feet. A war of attrition there with TSM coming off worse for wear, but Bolo, he finds an important kill with a headshot onto Ness. That takes the IQ off the board, not only important in that it's Ness that has gone, but also the fact that the IQ is out of the running. So with one and minute and 10 seconds left to go, any electronic gadget should pretty much remain safe now, but PSK finds the kill onto achieve this this could be it no Bolo fights back TSM they're not ready to lose shall they just oh, yet Bolo what? steps up with a kill onto the bathroom window three versus two three but there is still one minute 40 here for Team Liquid to hold on they need to find more kills there's they need to hold back the tide of the a TSM second. attack and who else but Nesk to step up when needed most and get a headshot onto achieved five versus three and we are barely hard Halfway through the round, Team Liquid, they are grasping a hold of Chalet here and they are loath to let go. Charla almost losing his life as well, it would have put him down to just a five versus two, but keeps himself going for a little longer. A minute and ten stands between them and a map three. Nesk steps up, massive kill, makes it 22. All the twos to close out map number two. It's almost like it's written in the stars. Two more to go and we go to map three. Oregon will wait to be the decider between these two teams on whose journey ends here and now. Sexy Cake on the vertical, daring him to step forward, but it's not going to happen. Charla, he sees defeat but can't find the kill. Knows that one's at the top of library. He's almost pinned it in here between a rock and a hard place. There's bathroom and there is library. The step out comes through there's the potential here he gets the headshot up through the hatch onto Bolo little will he know that he could have made a challenge through the softball achieved it is who finds him but not before the damage is done one minute to go and it is four versus two Palu able to push up the white stairs the signal is there but he beats the man anyway it doesn't matter that achieved knows that the approach was coming he still gets the kill on the reverse angle it's all down to Chala one versus 
his three. He holds a tight angle. From the top of White Stairs, he needs to find the man. He gets oh. one. In comes the need to move him. No, it won't matter. Moringa gets the trade. Team Liquid 4-0. And they are running away with this. Control of this game. Shots will rain towards the Team Liquid defender there, but will not connect, at least not sufficiently, to get the kill. Sexy Kate taking big damage on the Valkyrie, but able to at least escape to fight for a little longer. Nearly lose two on the door there as they peak at the same time. Achieved, unfortunate. Manages to get Sexy Kate, but Paulu will re-peak and get the trade, leaving us now four versus two, but low health both for Moringa and Paulu. And they are spotted oh, out. TSM know where they are. They've just got to start hitting these shots. There's Charla will be able to eventually fight off. It's Gio and Bolo who get the kills. Charla somehow survives inside a classroom. TSM, that is the first of five rounds that they need to get back to back. Andre, I like this, Des. I like that they're pushing in from everywhere, but right now they can't win the gunfights. Nesk and Moringa managing to get kills. Moringa is traded out in there. Nesk gets another, and surely this oh, is going in the direction that. of Liquid Bolos through the smoke. Palu has no idea. It's down! They come through. It's Nesk and Sexy Kick. I'm sure you can hear Team Liquid in the background. They win and guarantee, Des, that for the first time in Siege history, tomorrow we will crown a Latin American world champion.